Welcome back. Uh, we are trying to fix this glass crack that happened last time and I want to show you guys again uh, what it looks like if you didn't pick it up last time but hopefully you can kind of see it better. I'm trying to get a close-up shot of it but it's right. There's a line that runs through it. Maybe you can kind of see that right there. So there's that that line. It's not super noticeable. I mean, you can get away with it and just leave it alone, but you know, now that I I see it, I know about it. And if it's hanging on the wall, chances are nobody's going to ever see it if you don't point it out, but myself, I myself know that if I look at it and walk by it and all that stuff, you know, you know when your piece is not as good as it could have been. Um, leaving it alone, I think, is is just fine, you know. Sometimes you just accept it and um, you can just walk away and, and it's totally, like, you can just leave it like that and it's perfect as is um, as well. So I believe that too. And um, I know maybe some of you um, might have commented saying that, you know, just go ahead and leave it alone. It's It's totally good and you can move on to the next thing and just appreciate it how it is right now. And I agree with that. Um, and I think if, if I didn't have you guys out here um, kind of following along and watching too, I probably would just leave it alone, honestly. I would hate to put in the work to fix it just to have it exactly the perfect, perfect, 100% perfect. And, um, you know, where we are right now at this point, it's, it's not us. I think personally... I don't think I w should touch it um, if I got up to this point and, uh, you know, especially when you're going to put plants in it where it's probably just going to cover everything anyways. The biggest thing I want to fix this, uh, the reason why I want to fix this is because you're watching and you're out there and if you haven't done it and if you crack a piece, how do you fix it? So I think this is a good lesson and I think... Um, you know, it is something that rarely happens. And so if it does happen, then how do you fix it? And so that's what I want to show. And uh, hopefully I will be able to do that in this video. And hopefully we'll be able to fix it uh, for real in this video and get it back up to, uh, you know, to replace that piece. Um, so what I did was I sent out a little thing on Instagram asking some people about their thoughts and what they had, um, you know, in mind if they had tips and things to share, how they would go about doing this. So one of the best things to do was, uh, that was mentioned, is to break up this piece by scoring a couple lines through it. And so that would kind of start off the, um, breaking up the small it, into smaller pieces. And so once we begin to break it, you're not breaking it off in a big chunk. You're breaking it off in smaller chunks, which will help remove this triangle here. Um, so I agree with that. I think that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to score a couple of lines in here, and then we'll tap the glass to start breaking it off. And as those pieces start to come off, we'll get the solder, uh, the soldering iron and start melting the solder around it and slowly pulling off these pieces. Um, so that's the game plan. I sure hope that it works. Um, you know, this is like, again, I think my second time doing this. And this is probably a bigger piece that uh, I'm going to attempt to do this with. So, you know, I think it's got to be done. It's going to be a good thing for us to see it and you guys to see it. Um, so let's go for it. Let's do it. And we'll replace this piece um, and we'll see where we go. So best to not touch anything else. And we're, we're just going to be very careful. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So first thing we're going to do is just score this piece right here. And see where it takes us. I don't know. I don't really know. But it was nice to get some inputs from some of the
from the glass community um, from Instagram there and I got some comments from you guys as well so I appreciate that I um, you know a lot a lot of you oh one of the things that was mentioned that I I think I I messed up on was that you guys mentioned to pre-tin these pieces and then I wouldn't have to worry about going inside and doing this ridiculous soldering on the inside of uh, that, that pocket. And yeah, I agree with you. I skipped out on that because I never do it because most of my pieces are, um, you know, I was able to get away with it. I was able to do them without pre uh, tinning anything. And so they would just get covered up and you wouldn't need to worry about it. And also I often think, uh, you know, at, for this piece, I thought if I tinned it, it would raise up and give, you know, an, an uneven level on the glass. And sometimes it does that. And I wanted it to just kind of really sit flush and flat glass to glass uh, without the solder in between. But, you know, thinking about it now, adding the solder, tinning it, pre-tinning is definitely a good idea. So... If you do something like this, maybe if you do all your projects and start tinning them all around, and that's just lightly coating your pieces with solder. Um, you know, cover all, cover all that copper foil with solder first, and then start assembling everything and putting everything together. Then you don't have to go back in and try to get all the pieces. And, you know, I think that's, that's uh, something that I've never done. So want to share that with you and I agree with you guys who said go ahead and tin first and um, yeah I just think that's that's the way to go especially for this project um, for the other projects sometimes you don't need I don't think you need to do that they end up kind of going in and filling in and so um, I don't know I think there's two different ways to go about it and you know I see people doing it with the tinning First, pre-tinning everything and not tinning at all. So, you know, I think it's up to you if you want to do it or not. But in this case, definitely it seems to be the smartest thing to do. And I skipped out on that. So, um, yeah, kind of that's how we got to this point right here, I believe. Um, so anyways, lesson learned and that's just what it is. So hopefully you guys learn from that as well. And um, let's let's go with this thing. Okay, um, I'll just do some random scores. Let's see where we go. Oh man, what a... <sighs> yeah, it's a nice little crack right there. But we'll do it, we'll get this, we'll get this piece fixed up. All right, let's, let's go from here to there. Oh, that's so bad. It's like, uh, uh, just, it's like deliberately ruining your piece, you know? Like, oh, that's, that's, <laughs> I have never done that. I don't think, I, I don't remember, like, purposely messing up the piece like that. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, let's go from here up. Okay, that's, that's good. You know, just did some cross sections like all around here. Let's see if you guys can get a good view of that somehow. Scored a bunch of squares in there. Okay. Right, not sh nothing crazy. Okay, and um, actually, I need that. So we'll tap it out. Glass is pretty tough too. There we go, that started a whole new crack right there. It 
seems very tough in um, like it, this is a strong solid piece how we've put everything together um, so it started some a brand new crack a couple of new cracks throughout the glass piece but not on the lines that I scored anything on, which is interesting. Um, I'm also still worried that I don't want to hit too hard, you know? First thing I want to do then is start melting off we'll start melting off this top layer right here and see if we can remove that first. So just going for it. I don't think um I don't think there's anything I don't have I don't have this desoldering wick. Uh, it is a strip of braided uh, wire, and you would lay it down onto your solder lines right above it, and then heat up that wire. And it's like a flat braided wire piece. And so once that heats up, that wire basically is sitting on top of your solder and when it heats up the solder melts and the solder basically goes within the the weaves of that um, this this desoldering wick um, and so it just picks up all the solder so that helps out a lot i don't have that um, used to when i was working um, for some electronic stuff but and then there's also another thing where it's like a a tube, like almost a, uh, looks like a dispenser, but it's the reverse. So it's like you, you pull it, you pull it to, uh, to work the, to, to compress the spring. And then the suction point goes right to the solder. And as it melts, you hit it, release it, and it just pulls the spring, um, opens up and, and just pulls the solder out into into the container and that's the other thing so um, in this case I'm hoping we just melt the solder roll it off let it kind of just roll off the piece and melt just right onto our board over here so yeah. got a lot of that right there that's nice Yeah. I guess I will start. We could also start doing this main layer over here. This Doesn't feel that great. It's not a fun thing to do. I'm trying my best to just get through it and not think too much about it, but. It's coming, <clears throat> off. <clears throat> it's coming off pretty good here. Okay. 
melting. Okay. That's lifting off the foil from this purple piece as well. I kind of expected that. We're going to have to replace both of it. It probably could have, I, I mean, maybe I could have done a better go slower on that, but I feel like the adjacent pieces will probably have to replace those foil. It's, it's going to be very difficult to cleanly pull them off, um, you know, without, without messing it with the other ones. So I, whoa. Okay. It's funny how uh, I scored this piece and um, nothing broke at all. The entire piece just came off and that crack wasn't planned. That was just for me tapping and breaking it off. So, I mean, that, that helped out a lot. That took out most of the piece that I needed, right? Um, Right, so that's looking pretty good. Let's just pull this off. Mm. There we go. And I think I'm gonna try to let me get this little. Gotta start melting off this. Feels like they all want to just fall, come apart. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I mean, at this point, get that glass, all the glass off of there. Okay, that worked out a lot better than expected. That triangle piece is removed now, and um, what I need to do is, uh, man, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to melt this solder line with the copper foil, that end point, and then just try to remove all of that. Uh, just, I don't think that should be a terrible thing to do right now. Actually, let's see if I can, see if I can melt it down and have it drip, have it drip down somewhere. Not really. Not really, huh? I guess this is where the solder wick would help. Just trying to remove some of the solder. I'm also worried about running the iron too much um, on this. Feeling, feeling like like I would heat up the glass and then could crack this piece, you know. I'm a little worried about that right now. Let me see if I can completely just pull this off, break off whatever I can. Feels like it's pretty tough on there. now ripping the f copper foil just trying to like <clears throat> pull it apart off pull it off of the where it's stuck on the glass but
I'm doing good. I don't want to mess up at all. Hearing these these weird noises in the foil as it's melting. Stressing me out a little bit. <laughs> well the glass came off nicely. The foil doesn't seem to be wanting to come off nicely. It's got to be a special way somehow right here. You know, what I try to do is support this. <clears throat> we'll go from the top view because it is going to be very hard for you guys to see now that I'm got this going like this. Can you even see that? Can't really see it now, huh? Let me try to work on this right here, see if this will work. Seriously, ripping off the foil is, is now the harder part of things. Trying to clean it off. Pull it off cleanly. I'm not getting it. I'm not understanding how how to melt this and also pull off the solder. It's or pull off the foil. It's like it feels like it's just gonna be stuck on there, but that's not right either.
hard not to... I don't want to melt, <clears throat> have it touch the glass too long. End up having to crack something else, you know? If I crack this big piece, I'm... I don't know, we're not even going to think about that. You guys hear that? What the fuck? The foil's not going to melt off, you know? The foil's stuck on there. And it's got... I'm pulling it off. Like little by little, but it's not a clean... Clean break at all. It's like just ripping pieces of the foil. Just one little section. All right, let's let's rethink this. Okay, so we've got we've got some of the foil that's just kind of stuck together and then stuck onto the glass on both sides of it, this white piece and this wavy rainbow piece. And as I'm melting everything, solder is just kind of moving around but it's staying on the copper foil. So trying to remove the copper foil by pulling it off. And so now there's just chunks coming off and it's just a mess. Uh, you know, there's, there's no, um, like it doesn't seem like a clean way to completely just lift them off. Like if I use a razor blade, How is that gonna? <clears throat> I don't know. It's worth a try. Actually, the this exacto knife is actually working. Okay, we got a big piece right there. Um, yeah, that was helpful.
So I don't think I'm able to remove this fully, like cleanly. Might be able to get. I'm gonna have to leave some of the solder on, some of the copper foil on here, whatever it is. And um, I think I'm staying over there too long now. Let's not crack that. That's what I'm worried about, seriously. Worried about cracking. Cracking the glass. I don't want to do that. Alright, so what's working for me right now is using the X-Acto knife and coming at it from the sides. Basically trying to dig underneath the copper foil as I'm heating up this whole piece and then just kind of like slicing it as it's melting. So this ball is building up you might be able to see that. And as it's melting, I'm able to cut and go at the same time. Melt and cut. And then kind of like rolling and piling up right here. See that, that went okay. You know, uh, oh, this isn't, I mean, I kind of knew it wasn't gonna be easy, but. <clears throat> I guess you can cut from either side. Here, Let's see if we can pull off some of this. That piece now came off and Okay, okay. Let's see if I can pull this off. Just the foil. Just the foil. Okay, like that. That was a clean pull. I hear this like tiny crackling of the glass or something. Either like the solder 
settling in or something like that, but gets me a little worried. It could pop the glass, you know. Okay, that's lifting off. Good, right there. Alright, the entire piece is removed. This entire piece had to be removed just because they, they got lifted off of the glass and so I'm going to have to redo that which is okay, that's okay. Now, let's see if we can pull off some of this, this mess over here. Again, see if I can melt and cut. That was the best one yet. Digging in with the razor and then melting. And that helped out a lot. That was like a now it's just stuck kinda. pull anything I don't need to right there. I don't want to redo that. We're so good right here. <clears throat> and we're actually doing, it's like, it's just all good right there. I don't even want to mess with it, please. Please leave it alone. Let this piece be. Let's think of those 
this line right here as like a pre-tinned piece that we did and possibly just just leaving that leaving it like that you know my new piece is gonna go right over it we should we should put a foil piece of tape right there right over it and um, I think we should just leave it alone right now Gotten lucky up to this point, you know. <sighs> and it's like the you have the sticky stickiness to that solder right there because all the backing adhesive. Not a clean, it's not a clean job right here. Can't say this is my best work. But yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know if I should. I don't know if it's gonna. Like this side actually feels like the white glass. There's no tape on them. The tape is on this glass, which is it's harder to remove because it's got the waves. Oh, actually. Here, here we go. Okay, okay. Okay. It's working. It's working. I think this, this side is it just makes it harder because the glass isn't flat. The glass is wavy, so I'm having a hard time just cutting the foil. You know, it seems like it's working. Uh, I sure hope you guys are having a better day than me right now. I think a razor blade might work better, so let's try that. I'm trying to scrape it in, scrape it off. Okay, seems to be working. All right. Actually seems like a good method right here. 
so heating up the the line and then his razor blade then can come in go right under the foil and start cutting and since it's flat it seems to be digging in getting just right under there All right, let's reevaluate. <clears throat> okay, so I mean, I think I got the best that I could do right here. This is as good as I can get to removing the foil that was sitting on top of the glass. There's a little bit of it left. Uh, I think it's unnecessary to get it all as long as our new foil uh, can go right over it, stick to it, and yeah, I just don't want to mess with it anymore. We're getting away with so much right now. I'm I'm gonna stop while we're ahead. Okay, so <sighs> yeah, that sucked. That wasn't a nice, fun thing. To, to try to do it all. Um, so you can crack the glass, you can start melting the solder around it, see if it wiggles out, use your pliers, and then most of those pieces will come off, you saw that. And then the remaining parts that, the pieces that were stuck around it, uh, maybe touching some of the parts there, if it melted off easily and you were able to remove that main piece off without lifting the copper foil around it, then just leave those foil, uh, the foil pieces adjacent to the broken piece alone. In my case, we ended up having to remove all of it, but you know, that, that I'm not complaining at all with that. That worked out fine. And then on the bottom where that foil sits and was kind of stuck, glued to the glass pieces, then that was the thing that caused the most trouble. And the best thing I found was to use the razor um, to melt with the solder and kind of just start slicing and going, you know, as much as you can with it on both sides of it. And so right now, I think that's where we're at. I, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it right there. I don't want to mess with it. Um, clean this off a little bit. Okay. Just doing some isopropyl alcohol. Cleaning that off because I'm going to be putting tape copper tape back on it, okay, on the glass there too. All right, so now, now that we have that, um, we need our tape.
Okay. Got our copper foil tape. We're gonna re-wrap. And I'm just gonna go right up, right up to the end over here. See if it's lined up straight, right in the middle. You wanna get you know, you're, you're acting as if we are rewrapping, doing it again, but it ends where it ends and you can overlap just a little bit because we're going to solder everything over it. So it'll hide and solder would just form over the foil. So I think at this point here, we're just trying to conceal. Okay. This is like, the, I'm hoping it's all gonna work right here. Okay, looking good so far. That piece is surprisingly strong. It's just sitting there on its own. Solder is holding it up really well. Okay. Um, let's see, I got some got some brushes in here. Okay. Okay, all right, I got one foiled piece back up. Let's do the other one. <sighs> I sure hope this is helping you guys, <laughs> somebody out there. It is a mess. It is a mess right now. Feels like it. But I also feel like this is gonna work. Okay, it's Cutting it off, maybe you could see that. Get in there. No. Here, how about this side? Okay. So we got the foil just taped from end to end, cutting it off just so it covers it. Maybe that side could have been a little bit longer. That's okay. All right, form it over. All right. Press it in.
Okay, tape is on there. Man, this tape was kind of lifting off right there. I don't like it. Let's redo that again. I don't know what happened. The tape was lifting. I just don't want to chance it. All right, that one looks fine. Okay, two, two pieces done. Looks okay. Looks pretty good right there. All right. And then let's go ahead and cut this clear glass piece. I'm gonna have to find some glass over here. This one, I guess, go with this. If we got anything else. I forgot where I put my okay a template nope oh man that was the glass piece that I had like this nice piece but this is all I have of that so it's not gonna work okay we we'll have to go with this one here it's okay Okay. Hope the 
this all is going to be good. So we're going to, have to clear out this space here. I know. Trying to get it to fit a little bit better. Okay, all right, the glass piece looks good. Feels like it'll fit. Let's go ahead and put a piece of foil 
right down here. So I'm taping up the top, but I'm taping it where the um, this rainbow piece here should line up exactly how you know if you folded the tape over it would look and then the other side is the side I should be trimming because it's flat So let's see. trimming it. So I got the tape on there. I got the tape on the bottom on that surface and I got the two that will be connecting the triangle here. Um, okay and then we'll lay it out down like that and everything should solder right back together. We're gonna copper foil this right here and then this time I'm going to tin these pieces. I'm actually going to do the tinning right before we add everything in there. Um, so I think it's worth it. And like I was mentioning before, probably a step that I skip all the time and never really needed to do it. Um, and I, that's been fine for all the projects, but for this one, I could see the value in it and why you would want to tin your pieces uh, first if you can't get inside to finish up the rest of it. So I think the lesson for this whole thing right now is if you can't reach your pieces once they come together, tin it. And then do your best to not, uh, you know, press your iron onto your glass. And like that wasn't, I don't think I was sitting there for that long at all, but because it was touching the glass and not working with the solder directly, I think that's where it cracked the, the, the glass. So it's hard to say, it's hard to say how or where it's gonna crack. 
But if you know going into it, you could do your best to avoid. You know, hopefully, it not happening to you. Um, so all this work. Let's see how we can finish this up and if it's going to be a good, good um, fix here. You know, I don't have a new, the same glass piece either. So unfortunately, you got to use a new one, a different type. But this is still clear. It's got a little bit of texture on it. I think the other one just. a little different feel to it. But it's okay. I think it's worth fixing. Knowing that you can do the same thing, fix your pieces. If this happens, then you don't have to worry too much about it. It's just going to take some work. You know, a lot more work on your part, but that's why, I mean, there's ways to do it. So now you're learning with me too. But I hope it never happens again. Like, I hope it never happens again. Honestly, if I had to, if I, if I were to sell it, and make a piece that I had to sell, I would just discount the entire piece and say, hey, there's a crack. You know, there's a discount. Instead of having to redo it again and send it off perfectly, like it's just not, I don't think it's worth fixing unless like if it's, if it's yours and you're gonna, you're gonna keep it and know that that's like the, you know, like if that was your piece and you know that it's going to bother you, that's the only time that I would do it. Otherwise, like, yeah. Um, accept it. I think it was Susan that said that um, in the comments. I'm just accept it and leave it alone, you know, enjoy it like that. Look, I was able to just pull the foil off. Oh yeah, because I didn't even clean this piece. Oh crap. Um, completely forgot. Seriously, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. All right, I need to need to at least wipe it with some alcohol, you know. Cut that piece, wasn't thinking about it, didn't clean it off and went to foil. Either my foil is it's kind of bad. I don't think it is. But I had some Either I had some oil on the glass pieces and so on this piece and it just <laughs> wasn't sticking. Let's try that again. I'll just be glad if we can fix this. That's it. I'll, I'll be very happy if I can just look back and go, okay, this is worth it. We did it. Um, okay. Feels a lot better. Man, I think I'm also a little tired. We went to the baseball game yesterday. <clears throat> it was the Giants 
versus the Dodgers. And um, go home a little late, you know, later than usual. So I guess I'm not used to that now. I've got kind of a routine going on. Try to sleep early. And so staying up a little bit later kind of threw everything off and like the traveling, getting over there. Uh, traveling on BART, getting to the ballpark. So yeah, I, I'm sorry, I'm just like a little bit out of it maybe. And then this morning, some allergy stuff. Even though it's not, it wasn't so bad. This morning was a little bit, a little bit of it, I wasn't feeling it. But right now I'm doing okay. Combinations of everything. <clears throat> and then fixing this stuff, you know, it's like I gotta get the energy to do it. So I wanna fix it and have this finished already. So sometimes, yeah, it's hard, like getting on a video um, I just need I just need to be my best, bring my best, and um, yeah, try. Okay. All right. I mean, that looks like it could work. You know, let's go for it. Sawyer it up. Oh yeah, tinning, right? We're gonna tin. Okay, let's clean up everything here. And get ahead of ourselves, I'm gonna get screwed. Okay. Tinning this a little bit. Just covering it with solder. Okay. All right. Looking good. Just very lightly covering it. Like coating it. as if nothing happened like it just looks like exactly what it's supposed to be all right now Okay. All right. 
Just do it. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I tinned the pieces that were on the backing and I didn't tin this triangle piece. Like, why? Why did I forget that? Okay, that's uh, another dumb mistake. So just remember, tin everything, tin, tin everything, all of it, every piece that has copper, just do that. And you should be fine. I'm just rushing through it. Just see what happens, you rush through it. You don't get the you don't get the correct results you want, okay? Don't rush. I do feel like I'm rushing though. That's yeah. Okay. Looks cool.
Okay, I'm just uh, taking my time on this here, making sure that uh, this is not getting too hot. I don't want to risk anything again. Um, so, just gonna let that cool off a little bit, you know, each section here, like that needs to be filled in. Just trying to let it cool off. This here, we can clean that up a little bit, fill it more, some more with solder. On the top layer, top surface right here. A little bit more solder as well. Uh, but overall, you know, it's coming together again. Back to where we, we were. Um, yeah. What the heck, huh? There's a couple more things we gotta, we gotta do, clean up a lot. Still feels kind of hot. That sound. Gets me a little worried. doing some fill-ins right now. It's kind of going over spots I know. I can need some solder. Hey. 
Now we're getting somewhere. Actually, let's uh, let me clean up some of this stuff here. Smooth it out. Okay. It's all about final touches right now. Just looking at the piece, seeing what needs work, what needs to be resoldered. So, you know, some of the lines, I want to say like this one is done. Might have to do this side right here, this whole thing. Let's do that little trick, putting the solder on.
Yeah, we're going to leave that side alone. Looks like there's not much else you can do. Do that trick. Well, don't touch a hot um, solder there. Oh, okay. Oh, that's crazy. I, um, a piece of glass just cracked. Crazy. It's inevitable that a piece of glass would just crack.
unfortunately. Super hard to tell. But still, it's there. <sighs> Look, I can't win with this one. Um, this is as good as I can get it. I seriously don't want to mess with this anymore because worse things will happen. Um, didn't even hear it, right? Didn't even, that was just a little trying to clean up this spot right here. And then I just saw a run of this crack that ran along here. So I don't think you can see it. This is gonna be really hard to capture. I'm not even sure if you're gonna see this. Like, it's around the tip of this blue corner. You might see it, maybe that little line, you can kind of see it. I'm exhausted. This is not, this is not gonna uh, end well right now if we continue try to fix it and fix it and fix it. Um, like, you know, that, This little piece right here. Just just trying to smooth this out. You know? Do I do I go for it again just one more time? Fuck. What am I doing? <clears throat> right there. Okay. Okay. All right, look, that's that's the best um, that I could do. Honestly, seriously, what do you think? I think that's done. It is what it is. We're just gonna we're just gonna take the more the more I mess with it. Like this is crazy. Okay, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. It doesn't have to be. Um, straight, crooked, lined up, whatever, as best as you can do it, this is it, this is as best as I can do it. I could sit here for another day, I could sit here for another week, it's, it's starting to seem foolish right now to me. Um, That is so bad. That's crazy that that happened. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, I, I just don't think this is a problem that I need to pay attention to. I was happy that I could fix it. You guys saw that we can fix this piece that was broken and you know, how to probably go about doing it. We're happy. This, this is now done. That little crack, we're leaving it. I'm gonna accept it and be happy with it. Um, and I will clean this off, get it cleaned off, and, um, and finish hanging this thing. So we need to get a jump ring on here. I wanna do a jump ring Maybe I might do a jump ring on the top and I might do a ring on the sides just so there's three points to kind of hold it together and have some support as well instead of just pull on this one piece. It does seem a little bit heavy uh, at one point so I want to be able to secure it with the two rings here and the top one as well. So let's go ahead and do that safely. I think that should be fine. Um, yeah, this little crack, I'm still trying to find it, trying to look for it. I see it a little bit, but it's not as obvious and it is definitely not worth replacing again. That's for sure. Um, so 
yeah, let's just let's be happy with where we're at with this thing. 